Hey guys, what's going on? Chris Couch is back on the channel and today we have got a mango haul for you guys. This is the January one. This will be the last one for quite some significant amount of time, but I've got some doozies in here. So let's jump into it. If you've been paying attention to my recent videos, then you will have seen this. This is the One Piece box set number two. If you saw my reorganization video, you will have seen that I took half of the books out of there to put on the shelf. They are the next ones that I need to read. And these are the ones that follow. I am so excited to finally have this in the collection. This is such a grail for me. I cannot wait to read Sky Pier and Water 7. It's going to be a crazy ride. So following on from the One Piece box set, we have got a couple of books to get through today. There's also one that hasn't shown up yet. That is the latest volume of Jujutsu Kaisen. Weirdly enough, I pre-ordered it on Amazon and this has never happened to me before. But when the date finally came, it said that it wasn't in stock and it's been pushed back to February. I think maybe they just had a shortage of manga because loads of people have received theirs except for me. So it's probably just a shortage of manga. That's fine. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer. I've still got a few volumes of that to read, so doesn't really matter. Up next though we have a few series to get through quickly. We've got My Hero Academia volume 29. This fits nicely in the middle of those volumes that I've got right there so I can finish reading and get pretty much caught up onto the series as to where the anime is right now. We also have Kaiju number 8 volume 4. The purple in this cover is beautiful. This is one of my favourite colours of purple. If I was rebranding my channel now it would probably be a purple closer to this instead of the more pinky red colour. Stunning, great series. I am loving this series. It goes from strength to strength. I don't know why I'm flicking through because I don't want spoilers. Ooh, who be this? Who be this? Where she go? I mean, okay. Okay, I'm feeling your character design. I'm feeling this. These volumes are some of the greatest looking volumes you can have in your collection. I'm so excited to finally have this volume. And then the latest one, I wasn't really expecting to pick this up, but it's such a clashing of so many of my favorite things. I just had to. This is Go Go Lose a Ranger Volume 1. I believe this is actually, they've changed the title for English. It's not even like the direct translation. I cannot remember what it was called. This feels like a weird title, but it kind of works for the Western audience because we're so used to Go Go Power Rangers and the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that it works so well at the same time. This is from the creator of Quintessential Quintuplets, which if you've been paying attention to my channel, I loved that series. I went to the cinema, had the entire screen to myself to watch that movie. So there's a review of it up on the channel. I'm excited to see where this series goes from the same creator, Go Go Lose Ranger. I love the Power Rangers. I love manga. This is a weird quirky comedy. Why not? Artwork looks like it's on point and the character design is, oh lord, it looks good. Guarantee I will be checking out this series. Popping those three on the shelf, we've now got two boxes. These are from Isle of Manga. These have been a pillar of the British community for quite some time. I found them on Instagram a while ago. Unfortunately, they are closing down. Thank you to what you've done, bringing manga to the masses off the high street. It was great to have a small little chain. I'm sad that you were left, but they did do a two for one sale as they were closing down. So you best believe 50% off your boy went in. It was the last time, right? This is the last time I'm gonna be doing something like this. So I wanted I wanted to make it worthwhile. So because it was buy one, get one, you obviously got the cheaper one free. So I had to game the system a little bit. And what I did, I kind of told myself I wasn't gonna get the series after I said for so long I was gonna get the series. And then I said I wasn't. And then when it's buy one, get one, you kind of just have to do it. So I got the first two omnibuses of Tokyo Revengers. Now I know, I know, I know a lot of you, this is not the series for you. A lot of people have been ragging on the ending of it, which I'm kind of gutted about. But I really enjoyed season one of the anime. I'm still going to give it a go. And the quality of these feel really good. I love the texture of the cover and the page quality feels nice and it's actually white paper as well instead of like that sort of woody sort of colored paper if you kind of get what i mean so yeah we've got the first two volumes here i'm definitely going to devour these and then wait a long time and then maybe pick some more up later on down the line and now we get on to the last bundle here 
Some of these were series I wasn't planning on picking up just yet. Some of them are from a series I definitely planned on picking up right now because I want more of it. And, you know, because they were doing such a big sale on Isle of Manga, a lot of series were going out of stock very quick, so I had to get a few odd volumes here and there for some things. But we keep moving. The first one we've got, I picked it up just, just so that I had volume one in the collection. It is Rooster Fighter. If you checked out my video of manga I wanted to read in 2022, this was on the list. It's a crazy kooky comedy about a chicken or a rooster, a chicken that fights kaiju. And he's got a friend who's another chicken with a samurai sword. I don't know how it works, but it does. And it looks hilarious. So now it's in the collection. Look at that monster. And there's a tiny little chicken fighting him. Don't know how many more times I can say chicken, but I can. This chicken is going to kick your head in. All right? It's going to bottle you. The next one that I got, it's only a short series, so I definitely wanted to pick it up, and the concept seems really interesting to me. I mentioned it quite a while ago. This is Crazy Food Truck Volume 1. Now, I know Crazy Food Truck Volume 2 is also out now, but this will be the only one I'm picking up for now. I will maybe pick up 2 and 3 later on down the line, because it's only a three-parter, I believe, so you may as well dive in. It's Crazy Food Truck Apocalypse. I just want some gorgeous looking food, making me feel hungry from the weird, genetically modified flying fish. I don't think I need to explain it. I like comedy. I like post-apocalyptic stuff. That's two series back to back. I ain't explaining. This next one, like I said, I wasn't planning on picking up some of these series for quite a while, but I did really enjoy volume one and I wanted to check out more. And while well, I got it for free, it's Sakamoto Days Volume 2. Sakamoto Days follows a retired hitman as he just tries to live a normal life and serve in a convenience store with his wife and kid. But, you know, just when you think you're out, they drag me back in. The last volume ended where they just got to a carnival or a, uh, what's it called, a theme park. His new assistant, I can't remember his name, they noticed that hitmen were tailing him, so they're going to try and distract the hitmen trying to kill Sakamoto so that he can just have a nice normal day with his family. This is hilarious. The action in it is crazy good. Like, the way the action is drawn is so good. It's so funny, the pacing. Some of the moves that this guy does, like, I've never seen John Wick chubby fighting as well in still images before. So definitely volume two is a great pickup. I believe volume five or six has just come out. The covers are getting insane. Like the colors and the style of them be popping. Definitely. It's a great series. We come to the creme de la creme. We've got three volumes from the same series. I got me some haku. We've got volume 10. We've got volume six and we've got volume nine. Oh, that cover of Hinata looks so good. And we've got this great cover of Tsukushima. Like I've mentioned recently, I've been recently re-watching all of these and I forgot how much I like Tsukushima after his development arc. And then when he loses it, when they win to get to regionals and he gets that first block in and he just, he starts, he starts going for it. He loses it and we lose it with him. It's great, great. Oh, this series is so good. Oh, I'm so excited to have more of it in the collection. I want all of this. I want all of this. So like I said, Haikyuu Volumes 6, 9 and 10 added into the collection. While it's in stock, I had to get it because I can't find it anywhere. I love this series so much. It's the best boys playing the best game. Do you know what? I might actually join a volleyball team soon. I want to get back into getting fit. I'm tall. It may as well be volleyball. I'll be a big blocker, even though I'm not. I'm not like that fast, so I'm not going to be a spiker or something. Also, I have a bit of a dodgy shoulder, so I'll be a blocker. I'll be See, I can touch my ceiling. I can touch my ceiling. I can block a ball, okay? So if there's any volleyball teams that want me on your team in the northwest of England, let me know because I'm a big boy. Okay, so I thought I was done. I thought I was done for the month. Come here. I thought I was done for the month, but... I had £10 on my Waterstones voucher card and they had the things that I needed. So while I had £10 off, I got a cup. Okay, I, I got a cup. I got Haiku number five to fill in the gap. So now we've got one through six and then nine and ten. And we've got My Hero Academia Volume 32. This will bring us up to a date with the English releases, I believe. So, two more. 
to add to the pile, I am never buying manga ever again. At least I went out with a bang. I got the good shit. So there you have it. This is the stuff excluding the box set that I got in January. It's definitely an addiction. It's definitely a habit that I am having to break right now. This is going to be the last haul you see for quite some significant time. It has to stop. It has to stop. But thank you for watching, guys. It's been a great time unboxing these. I can't wait to read all of these with you guys. Um, let me know what series you got in January. Let me know which series out of all of these and One Piece are your favourite. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We've got some great, hilarious videos planned for you guys. I'm so excited with what I'm doing on the channel in 2023. Please stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.